Hello, my name is Craig J. Davis and welcome to my channel. It is Friday the 3rd of December 2021 and because it is December and we are coming up to Christmas, this is, I am wearing my my santa claus hat i do have the full i do have the full santa claus costume here but it's still too early to wear that every year it's a tradition of mine from the first of december to always wear a santa claus hat or any christmas hat you know, it's this time of, of year when we like to have happy thoughts, when we like to think that families and friends are planning of coming round to together to celebrate Christmas, thus if we are allowed to, of course, these days because of the so-called virus and we have to somehow practice our social uh, distancing. I mean, how you can be social, but a distance from people is beyond me, but there we are. That's another topic for another time. And so this is why I wear my hat, right? It's times like this when things should be positive and when things should be improving. But just when I think things are improving, what the Lord sh shows me and what God tells me time and time again is that evil isn't that far aw away even during this time of year. Evil is just around the corner and as the big book says, Satan is like a roaring lion f finding those who, who he may devour. This is why we should stay sober because a drunk person is a vulnerable person uh, uh, and that it goes across for any drug, right? But so, right? Because I watched the, right, I, uh, how did I come across this, right? I came across a very horrific, frightening, and upsetting event that took place somewhere in England. I think it was in the West uh, of Midlands uh, somewhere, but it's that uh, that's not important. What what is important is what happens. And I first heard about this when. Um, um, when uh, my father uh, told me, yeah, because every um, uh, morning when he puts the television on, he likes to read the news on teletext. And he told me this horrific story. It is horrific. Of a six year old a boy who was tortured to death. And out of curiosity, I had to lock this up myself. So I went on to Google and I typed in something like a six year old boy who was torturable and up came so many articles. And the boy's name, was Arthur. I can't uh, repeat. I cannot remember his surname. I should have uh, written it uh, down. But nevertheless, I will post a couple of articles in the description box be be uh, below. Now I didn't read an article per se, but what Google um. What Google gave me links to was 
it gave me video links to YouTube. So I watched this event on YouTube and it isn't for the faint-hearted. I will post it in the description box below, but I'm here now to give you all a word of a warning. This is not for the faint-hearted. This poor, innocent child, he was starved, he was deprived, he was deprived of water, so he was severely dehydrated by his father and and right and he was tortured and he was abused by his father and a step uh, um, um, a mother and what is even more sadistic is that is that this evil woman right his step brother filmed him and uh, recorded him screaming. He was screaming things uh, uh, like, Nobody loves me! Nobody loves me! And he also said, Feed me, please! Feed me, I'm hungry! It's all there. It's, it's hard to a watch but as a christian i have to watch these sort sort of things because it reminds me time and time again that evil is real satan is real and demons do exist do remember my previous video that i did it was a sermon called demons are real well this proves to me time and time again that evil is real but also at the same time it's times uh, like this uh, when i question uh, uh, my christian faith because if there is such a loving protective uh, god out there then why did he allow this to happen the answer, of course, is I have to humble uh, myself and say, I don't know why God allowed this to happen. But what I do, uh, though, is, and what God has taught me, is that demons are real, Satan is real, and demon possession is, is real. And these parents, or parent and step-parent of this child Arthur they were demon possessed they had to be demon possessed and what makes my blood a boil right is how can this happen in how can this happen in Great Britain in the year 2021 how can this happen in the 21st century with all the technology that we've got how the hell did this happen why wasn't this boy saved of course it shouldn't have come to this in the first place no child or no human being whether your child or an adult should they ever have to suffer this? Where were the social services? Why didn't they do anything? Well, according to this article that I, according to this video footage that I watched, the social services were involved. They were called, but that, but after, right? This is their. This is their. Um, um, a mentality right they only saw one bruise on the boy so th they thought nah he's okay he probably fell yeah he probably had an accident so they didn't do anything to help this child how was that 
a professional. Social services are there to protect children. Even if you see one bruise on the child, that child should be taken into custody for his or her own safety. But see, this is what you get with a broken system, and the system is broken. And these demon-possessed, inhuman creatures have been sent to prison. And if you ask me, just like what I said about Wayne Cousins, right, that I when I when I made a vi a video about Sarah, um event or well, whatever right it's it's a, right just what i said about wayne cousins that prison is too good for him prison is too good for these evil vicious inhuman creatures as far as i'm concerned as far as i am concerned these evil creatures aren't even human beings they stopped being human uh, beings when they crossed the line, when they decided to do those horrific things to this child. This child, the despair and the lonely and the lone and the lonely uh, thus and the terror that must have been going through his uh, mind is beyond anyone's comprehension. You know, it's stories like this. You know, we like to think that we live in a civilised society. Civilised people don't act like this. Right, like videos that I that I um, that I made in the past about the horrific uh, death of the MP uh, David Am Amas and the and the horrific uh, murder of Sarah Everand but uh, by that evil creature Wayne Cousins. They are not, they were not civilised. And again, this is not civilised. We no longer live in a civilised country. And what is even more heartbreaking is that nobody did anything to interfere, to intervene, to save this child. And prison is too uh, good for these people. These inhuman, vicious, vile, scum creatures. What they uh, need is the death penalty. If whenever we need the death penalty, this would be it. Whenever we need capital punishment, this would be the right circumstances. People l like this don't deserve to l live. How can anyone, anyone do that to a child? A six-year-old child to starve him, to thirst him, he also, as well, had over 150 bruises on his uh, body. You know, there are people out there, right, who want to have children. There are people out there who, who want to have a family of their own, right? Decent people, L loving people out there who want to have kids, but some people they can't. 
some people are are sterile and of course these uh, vaccines uh, don't help in our department either right there are people out there uh, to some people who want to have kids and yet you get an evil creature an evil um, 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 man who is a father of a six-year-old child who is who who obviously has a high sperm count right hence why he's got a six well he did have a six-year-old uh, a boy but they killed him in fact she it killed him and yet he is a father and he doesn't deserve to be a father and he got young couples out there who are loving people and yet they can't have children the world is so um, messed up but see it all goes back to the fall of adam and eve when eve decided to pick the fruit for, from the tree of uh, knowledge is when sin came into the world and since then things have just gone from bad to a, a worse now what are your comments on this i would love to hear your comments i would love to read your comments i should say you know even at this time of year when we when we should be positive and festive evil still doesn't rest and this is the true embodiment the true embodiment of satan see satan isn't what the world wants you to think that is that is just a red colored cartoon character with a pitchfork sitting on your left hand shoulder telling you to do naughty things he's not a loki right he's not just a, a god of a mischief he's absolutely 100 percent evil and what's happened to that child is again another example of satan showing his true colors please comment please subscribe and uh hope you all have a very hopeful christmas and and that and 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 a dolig shawen a bloided do with the I'll say that again if I can stop start drain an a dolig shawen a bloided in with the that's a Welsh and it means a Merry Christmas and have a happy new year well at least try to because I'm not looking forward to 2022 or why should I? I think it's going to get any better.